How would you feel if I did this in front of your home? That's all. Your Officer, have a good day. Street, My home and about 300 other people. We yeah. live across the street. So I, I, how would you I feel? I understand, obviously, that you live here. I think we've had discussions with you We before. might have. Yeah. I don't, I don't know that we have. I'm Nick. Carrie Pratt. Nice Carrie. to meet nice you, Nick. And I'm not angry at what you guys are trying to do. Right. It's just the use of the bullhorn. Do you know it's a violation of Labor Code, uh, Municipal Code 4157B, which is the use of bullhorns without a permit? You probably don't know I that. I don't believe it is. It is. It is, but you're allowed to get away with it. No, actually, it is, but the city of L.A. is what they call, I'm going to use Donald Trump for people going to hate me, Sanctuary okay. City, or they allow people to, there are labor unions, you guys are very powerful because your bosses make a lot of money. And they, well, they, they pimp they you. Don't make a lot of money, they but pimp y'all and use the you. They are using you well, guys. If I that, I clearly wouldn't be here. They are using you. And I'm just. Well, you can have that opinion. I wouldn't. It's obviously, I opinion. don't agree with you. Okay. Or I you get be paid for getting here. here, right? And you don't work. You I, don't I work, work in that hotel. I do not work in this hotel. And neither do you. Do you I, work we, in that hotel? No. We both work in different. We both right. work in different. Hotels. Right. So and I work too. And so do those people. Sure. So if I were. So I just want to ask you. I know, but if I were in front of your house, how would you feel? This company is disrupting lives of hundreds of people here, which is why we're here, right? I called them, and I called them. I called them for you, and I asked them to settle it. No, the dispute. Well, we're in the middle. We become in the middle of your dispute with them, and that's unfair. It's very, very unfair, and it's unfair that all these people that live over here, they have babies. Um, some of them are nurses. Some of them are doctors that work in their home. I try to meditate and, and pray in the morning. Thank God I did it early this morning. I'm so glad you guys were late because I was able to get it done. But it's not fair to me. It's, I have a First Amendment right to practice religion and to have peace in my home. Well, and, and but you're, you're infringing live, so. upon it when you guys use the bullhorns. You can protest other ways. Yelp is better. Yelp well, is better. And I'm telling you, nice I'm to have, we, we Google is Yelp, better. But, but you guys are, can. We're, we're going to continue to do this. Terry, right? Terry. Uh, so I'm not, okay, gonna until, to until the, what if right, the law stops you? Have, you, have, you have your right to what if the law stop, I do. protest as well or to do this. But, but, we you, we but you never answered that. my first question. How would you feel if I came to your home uh, four days, five days If I understood the days. context, You'd be okay. I would understand. Okay, so what I'm going to follow would you, I, would I enjoy and I'm going to let, what what's your name? Would I enjoy it And I'll have them Google you, and I'm going to put this all on our webpage, and if any of my neighbors want to come to your house with a bullhorn and do it, I think they have a constitutional Are right you, to so do you're that too. You're going to like stalk me right now? I, absolutely that, not. I'm in I didn't say stalking. That's against the law. Well, just, I'm not in a union. No, right I said if people find out who you are, uh, you're not the only person I videotape, and they find out where you live and they come with a bullhorn, how would you feel? I wouldn't want anybody to experience that. I think if you experience that one or two mornings, you would have a little bit more empathy for what it is I, I that we feel. I, I understand why But you get paid for your business. I do get paid, but I, I don't, I'm not here because I, I mean, yes, I get paid. No, but you were here because you get paid, because honey, because if you didn't get paid, you wouldn't be here. Right, we already explained that reason to you, and if you communicated the company. Well, no, again, the company that's, can't that's, tell me what they're the, negotiating. The dispute well, they can't the tell me. No, because I don't work for the company. I have no, no vested well, interest in, in the union or the company. I really don't. I'm coming to you as a regular American person, yes. just like you, but the, a the citizen who pays taxes. Hundreds of lives here, right, are disrupted by the fact that. By the you guys, well, you guys are messing up pilots. To this one pilot uh, had to cancel his flight because he because he couldn't. Fly. I know, and they should. They should be reasonable, but I don't know if you're being reasonable. I don't know all the facts, so it's hard for me to help you because I called the lawyer and he said I cannot. Just, I did call your corporate office and I told them I would never stay at a Western. So you are helping. And, I, and we all feel like that. So don't yeah. think that we're not helping you guys. But my, my point is that why do you have to do it four or five days a week? Why don't you come with the bullhorns once a month and have a big group and, and do it like that? At least, and let us know. At least we will know when you're doing it and we can say, okay, this is the morning they're coming. We better be prepared. Maybe you can get more support from us if you did that. Maybe I am can, not against maybe we, that. Maybe we can work together. We can work together. Maybe you can. People live in this Tell us what to do. Are, are your neighbors, right? Yeah, tell us what to do to support you. They won't talk to us. I've asked. That's the first thing I asked the first time I've ever come over here. What do you need us to do to stop this? Well, I well, asked. You said you did that. It's, 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 again, the dispute's with the company, so it's... I know, so, it's be, so we're in the middle. Because we don't, we're not, obviously, some of them may be union, I don't know. But I'm not in lo local, local hotel number 11, whatever it is, union. Uh -huh. And so that's not what I do. So how do we, how do we, how do we help you guys so we can shut this down? What do we need to do? Tell me, I'm asking. You can communicate to them exactly what you're telling me, right? That I've asked them. They, they, the employer, are disrupting your community, and so they need to. I did. I told them that. Both the workers and respect you. 
I did ask them that. I, I've done it more than once. I'll do it again today. All but right. if they don't, what are you going to do for us if we do that for you? I could have 50 people call the Western. All I got to do is put up a sign. But what if they don't do it? Then what are you going to do for us? You're going to keep coming out here disturbing well, us? We both have to keep doing it until we, until we have a victory. So we can help here. you, but you, you want me to give you something, but you don't want me or us. We are, you don't want to give us anything. We're fighting this company. So we, need, we are looking for people to help us do that. And pressure okay, but how are you? Okay, if we do that, what are you going to give me and us? That are, that are our pieces but being destroyed? This will be done because we, we So we you think one, if I can right? get 50 people... It'll to call them. Help. It'll certainly help. Well, and then, okay, so, no so if we do that, can you say, okay, and I'll give you the names of everybody, and I'll say, can I give them names? But can we get you to cut down your protest? Why don't you take this back to your people and ask them? I'm trying to be reasonable. I'm not trying to fight with you. I'm trying to be reasonable. And I'm trying to get you to kind of understand that every morning, you don't come out here every morning. I'm personally not, not here every morning. I know, the other guy does, almost. So, if you were going through this every morning, you were trying to pray and meditate. I just want you to feel that, or even you've been up all night as a nurse working. We have a couple of nurses that work in my building, and they come home and they're like, "Oh my God, Carrie!" And I'm like, "I can't well, do anything." Honestly, not, I know you're not purposely, but now that you know, but now that you know it's affecting us, let's let's do something. I understand it's affecting you. What we're trying to do. So you is want us? So this contract, is how right? this is why I become a white Republican male now. I'm a black female. I'm supposed to be a Democrat. This is why I become a white Republican man. Because the unions, you guys want us to fight for you. And You're do... Not we should, fight. We should well, fight together. We have the same opponent. That's my other opponent. No, That's our fight. opponent is the noise from the use of the bullhorn. It's and not why, even you. Why, I have no problem with you getting your rights. <laughs> because they are not... They are and not you guys, but you're not... But you don't care about our peace and well-being. We have to work, too. You have no idea what I do for a living. And you didn't ask. Okay, and that's fine. You don't have to know. But I take care of people. I think you said you were a doctor. I take care. I take care of people. No, I, I wouldn't lie. I'm a, I am a doctor, okay. and I'm a, I'm a work comp doctor. And I see a lot of people that work in the hotels that are treated bad. Yeah. Exactly. So, so I get it. I get it, and I understand people's rights, and it is not right. So I'm in agreement with that. It's just the method on how you're doing it and how it affects other people that's very disturbing. I'm very passionate about getting my prayer and meditation in the morning because I'm a very, very fiery, passionate woman. And that helps to keep me calm. So when I have to come out, when I have to hear this, I'm like, oh my God, that's so unfair. And it is, I want peace in my home. That is all I'm saying. If you guys can find another way to deal with this, if we, <laughs> I'll tell them, call and tell the Western they need to stop it. We did, we did. I don't think it was fixed, but we've done it before. Yeah. But if, if we can do that, I just want you guys, what are you guys gonna give us back? So what I'm gonna do is I'll send out a vast email and said, you guys, call the Western, tell them to settle this, how much is bothering us. And send me an email and tell me you did it, and I'm going to let y'all know. And I'm going to see if you guys, your union, will be the bigger person. Say, okay, they've done it. Let's see about another way that we can do it. You got it. That's a union talk that you guys have to have. We, we're happy to work together again. Okay. We have, we have, this, we have a common opponent here. Okay. So that's what we're trying to do.